Greetings everyone, Craig Hester here with R2AWatches.com and thank you for joining us as we continue on our journey through all the watches and accessories that are available at R2AWatches.com. If you are watching this on YouTube, please be sure and hit like and subscribe and ring that bell so you get the early notifications when we come out with a new video. If you are watching this on Facebook, you want to join the closed group Vostok Europe Timepieces, or VET. It is the best place to find out about what's going on at R2AWatches.com, new releases, special releases that are only available through the group, stuff like that. So it is the best place. It is a private group. You do have to ask to join. Don't let the name fool you of Vostok Europe Timepieces. We also cover, uh, talk about all kinds of watches from our collections there at Vostok Europe Timepieces or VET on Facebook. Today we are talking about a set of Vostok Europe's that just came out. This is, when I say this, I mean we're, we're right now in the summer of 2021 um, and these four new chronographs from Vostok Europe just came out in the past few weeks and so we're doing a quick overview of them you if you know Vostok Europe you've seen this before in terms of you know that this is based on the expedition North Pole one but since we had new executions we decided that we would do a video going over them um, if you are unfamiliar with Vostok Europe Vostok Europe is a boutique watch brand based in Vilnius Lithuania they produce 25 to 30 thousand watches a year um, they've been around, oh, well, now about 16 years. Um, they, we are their exclusive distributors in North America. Uh, the great things, there's some really awesome things about Vostok Europe. Number one, every watch is 100% designed and built in-house at Vostok Europe. They have their own designers. They have their own watchmakers. They have their own quality control. Um, they, they don't leave anything to chance because they handle everything in, inside. And with having their own designers, they have a different look uh, coming from somebody who actually didn't come from the watch industry, who's their main designer. Um, and the fact that he's Lithuanian as opposed to, say, Swiss or maybe Asian, where you get a lot of your watch design from. Um, so that's why Vostok Europe has a unique look compared to other watch brands. Um, and again, they hand assemble each and every one of the watches at their facility in Vilnius, Lithuania. So that's the basics about Vostok Europe. Now, the Expedition North Pole 1, um, it has been around, really it was one, among the second wave, maybe third, but I think really the second wave of watches that Vostok Europe um, started to build. In fact, from the very beginning of Vostok Europe, there has been at least a watch in the collection, now two in the collection, that uses uh, the name Expedition. Um, the original Expeditions, now this has got the protective cover on the back, so let me take that off so you can see this better. Um, the original one was the Expedition Around the World, which was for that race, well it was actually originally just the Expedition Trophy, which was the race across uh, Russia, and then it became the Expedition North Pole, excuse me, the expedition around the world when they did the same race around the world. Um, and then later it became the Expedition North Pole 1, which is the watch you see before you. Um, and now there's also the Expedition Underground Everest, which is based on the same case as the Expedition North Pole. Um, the, why is it called the Expedition North Pole? Well, as you know, every Vostok Europe has a story. Um, we, we tell a tale with our with, the, with our watches. I like to say that Vostok Europe uh, doesn't just build, doesn't just uh, tell the time, it tells a story. Uh, in this particular case, it is based on a floating ice station from the 1930s, 1937 to be exact, um, that left the North Pole at 20 kilometers from the North Pole uh, and then floated for, it was a floating scientific ice station, a Soviet ice station. Um, it floated, uh, the ice flow was out there for nine months. It went over 2,800 kilometers. Uh, one of the little, uh, uh, doing scientific exploration, all of the people involved ended up getting the, the hero of the Soviet Union awarded to them. And one of the little things that I like about, uh, that story is that, um, is that they came, what their final leg of the, of the journey was on the Yermak, which was the world's first icebreaker. Uh, well, what's an icebreaker? Icebreaker is one is a ship that has uh, it's hardened and designed uh, to break through ice. To you know, it's, it's got a a very onomatopoetic name because it is an icebreaker. Um, it's not, and I don't mean you know something that uh, that allows you to talk to somebody at a at a bar. Not that kind of icebreaker. It is an actual physical icebreaker, and that is what brought home the team from the expedition North Pole one. Anyway, my bad humor aside, um, so 
the four new executions. I'm going to quickly go through the different color combinations, and then I'm going to do a uh, um, more of a deep dive in terms of the specific uh, functions and specs of the watch. All right, we have got the 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 deep deep blue with the rose tone. Ignore these blue pieces on the side of the watch. They're there to protect the case while it's still in um, while it's still in storage. So don't focus on that. Sorry. I, I, usually I'll take. I don't like taking them off if I can help it on a new watch. Um, so that's why they're still there. But you can see the the Russian red or the rose tone. Uh, r gold in Russia is rose gold not yellow gold. They don't think of yellow gold as the main gold. They think of uh, rose tone. Um, so in fact, if you look and you'll, you'll notice people's wedding bands and so forth from that part of the world, not just Russia, but parts of Eastern Europe as well. And you'll notice that their wedding band is, I'm pulling this off the back here, is rose tone. Then you've got this really amazing parchment is what we've been calling it, parchment dial with the contrasting sun ray on the on the on the blue excuse me on the black sub dials uh this one's a black pvd it has the color the one colored pusher which i really like that little that little extra bit of design that vostok europe does um, and then the case back shows the expedition north pole one this one happens to be number 500 excuse me happens to be number 57 of 3000 all Vostok Europe watches are numbered limited editions. Then we've got the Duca White, or it's actually more like a silver. It's not, it's not a Duca White. It's a silver. We've got the silver tone, um, or you might call it off-white, um, and then the black subdials. Here, I'm going to start the chronograph for you. And it has the same case back, and again, the full-function chronograph. And then we have... The semi stealthy, um, it's it's not it's not a full stealth because there's a little too much white on there for that. But it's black on black on black, or black on gray on black. Um, it's a really great tone on tone look with this particular one. Uh, I really like it myself. Now, the specs of this watch. Well, first of all, it's 47 millimeters, but I will measure it like I always do. Let me see. Hold on. Well, it's showing 46.5, but no, there we go. 47.2. Oh, there, so you can see it. 47.2 millimeters. It is how many millimeters thick? 17 millimeters thick here. Oh, it's showing 16. There we go. 17, 17 millimeters thick. It has a 4 millimeter thick K1 mineral crystal. Vostok Europe uses the K1 system or the Gorilla Glass, as, as, as it's known also. It's the same system as Gorilla Glass. Uh, it gives you, I see here there's protection on this one here too, this blue. This is not a part of the watch. That is protection to keep it from being scratched while it's in stock. Um, it is the, no, where was I? Oh, I forget, but I'll catch myself back up. Let's see, limited edition. Um, they're all 20 ATM, which is a professional grade dive quality level. Now, this is not a professional grade dive quality watch uh, for the specific reason that it does not have a rotating bezel. You have to have a rotating bezel to be considered a, di a true professional dive watch. But in every other way, this meets the criteria for professional dive watch with the 200 meter water resistance um, and the way that the case is constructed. Here, this one's number 89 out of 3,000. Now it's driving me crazy where I left off earlier and don't remember what I was talking about, but that's okay. Um, so there are four new executions. Now, uh, it's a 24 millimeter strap, so it's easy to replace if you want to replace it. I would not. I, one of my favorite things about the Expedition North Pole uh, collection is that the straps are these really cool, amazingly cool straps with uh, double tang buckles they're multi-leveled um, in this case you've got on the on the rose tone you've got kind of the ox blood uh, then the brown is a little bit different on the parchment dial uh, it is uh, more of a chestnut and then the black and then the same as same chestnut on the black and white so so that's the four styles i'm going to put one on and show you a wrist shot 
while I'm doing that. Oh, I know what I was talking about. I was talking about the Gorilla Glass system, so we'll get back to that. So Gorilla Glass are also known as K1 mineral crystal. What's good about that and why Vostok Europe uses it is that, um, it, yeah, here we go. It gives you nearly the scratch. Here you go. You can see it on the wrist. I have about a seven and a half inch wrist. I wear expeditions all the time, very comfortably. I've never worn this watch that I was that I found it uncomfortable. And I got a strong feeling that this one here with the parchment dial is going to be in my personal collection very, very soon. Uh, I really, really, really like this one. So there it is on the wrist. Um, it gives you nearly the scratch resistance of a resistance of sapphire and it gives you nearly the shatter resistance of regular mineral. On the Mohs scale, sapphire is a nine, mineral crystal is a five, seven right in the middle is where uh, the, the K1 system uh, lands. There's seven, so you can see it's right between the, the, the sapphire and the mineral. So you get, you really get the best of both worlds. And it's a four millimeter thick uh, crystal. That to me alone is amazing. I, that's, that's as thick as many bracelets. Um, it's as thick as the bracelet that goes on this watch, um, which by the way, these are available with bracelets as well. Also, there are NATO straps available and silicone straps available. This leather is the one that de defaults that comes with the watch. Um, but you've got plenty of other options if you're interested. So let's see, what other specs do we need to cover? It is a full function chronograph. This is the 6S series. Um, as you can see here, it's the 6S21. If one thing to know about Vostok Europe is the first four digits or whatever becomes before the slash is the movement number, is the caliber of movement. And in this case, it's the 6S21 from Miyota. What's really nice about the Miyota 6S series is they have mechanical parts in them as well. Um, so when you click on the chronograph, as you can see here, it actually almost sweeps like an automatic. And in fact, some low VPH automatic uh, movements would actually look about the same as this. Um, it's obviously not as smooth as say the Miyota 9000 series or um, a 7750 or something like that, but it's darn, darn smooth for a quartz movement. And I like to always say there are quartz movements and there are quartz movements. Um, these are not your cheapo quartz movements that um, that just get slapped into watches because they want to turn over watches. These are uh, top quality. In fact, the cost, the actual cost of the movement itself, meaning the 6S21, is more expensive than an NH35. What's the, one of the other big uh, to-dos about this one is it has fantastic loom. We're going to do a loom shot here in just a minute. Um, and the parchment one, believe it or not, that parchment color there, that's a full loom dial. So, Abe, if you want to douse the lights, we'll show them what they look like in the dark. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm doing nothing. I, I'm, I'm not enhancing this in any way. I have no filter on the camera. Um, all, all, all it is is exactly what you're looking at, which is just really great loom. Okay, that's good. So you can see that, that particularly that parchment dial. That's my particular. That's my personal favorite of the four new ones. Not that that, if that matters to anybody. Um, you know, if you're curious about my thoughts, I like that parchment. I like a full loom dial. Um, I'm a loom nut. That's that's why in our own brand we are crazy about loom. We use 15 silk screen layers of loom. Um, it's just I love when a watch really lights up the dark. Um, as I said before, they come with these amazing straps, double tang buckle. I love the little rivets that are close to the case there. They add, there, there's not much to that really, but it adds a lot to the watch just to have that extra pop of, 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 of a different um, breaking up everything. If, so it's not just a, a simple strap. It is an amazing strap on this watch. I, I, I actually, um, one of the things I admire about Vostok Europe is they don't look at the strap as an afterthought. Um, they actually take the time to really design the strap along with the watch. So they're all custom straps. 
as opposed to just picking a strap that they like and 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 putting it on there. Um, so a part of their design process is as much is as much the strap as it is anything else, um, and that is definitely true when it comes to the Expedition North Pole One. So real quick, I'm going to go right back through the specs. It's 200 meter water resistant. It is that the K1 mineral crystal system. It is a four millimeter thick crystal. It is etched on the back with the imagery from the Expedition North Pole One. It is 20 ATM. That is 200 meter water resistant. And that, does that mean you can go down 200 meters? First of all. No, just because it's 200 meters. But what that what that means is it is it is designed to handle that level of pressure. Um, it is it is not necessarily saying that you should be diving that deep with this watch. Um, there, that, some point or another, I'm going to do a video about water resistance and what those numbers mean and so forth. Just suffice it to say that a 200 meter water resistant watch is a serious watch. Again, it is enough to meet the criteria um, from Patty, the professional. Uh, Divers Association um, to meet their criteria for what is considered a professional professional grade dive watch, what professional divers use. Again, because we don't have an don't have a rotating bezel on this one, this one is not con considered that. But it's everything but that makes this a, makes this a um, professional grade dive watch. Well, there you have it. Four new dials from Vostok Europe in the Expedition North Pole One. Uh, model line. And until next time, I'm Craig Hester with R2AWatches.com. And you know what I'm going to say, keep watching.